John Wesley Powell Expeditions, Green River into the Great Unknown, 1869 and 1871, 150th Anniversaries. Powell's Peril, Disasters on the Expeditions, a video tour from the Sweetwater County Historical Museum. Disaster Falls, the no-name faces disaster in Lodar Canyon. June 9th, 1869. I walk along the bank to examine the ground, leaving one of my men with a flag to guide the other boats to the landing place. I hear a shout, and looking around, see one of the boats shooting down the center of the sag. It is the No Name, with Captain Howland, his brother, and Goodman. I pass around a giant crag just in time to see the boat strike a rock and rebounding from the shock careen and fill its open compartment with water. Two of the men lose their oars. She swings around and is carried down at a rapid rate, broadside on for a few yards, when, striking amidships on another rock with great force, she is broken quite in two and the men are thrown into the river. No sleep comes to me in all those dark hours. The rations, instruments, and clothing have been divided among the boats, anticipating such an accident as this, and we started with duplicates of everything that was deemed necessary to success. But in the distribution, there was one exception to this precaution. The barometers were all placed in one boat, and they are lost. Canyons of the Colorado, John Wesley Powell's diary. Pictured is Disaster Falls and Lodor Canyon, Moffat, Colorado. Canyons of the Colorado, illustration. June 10th, 1869. I have determined to get the barometers from the wreck, if they are there. Sumner and Dunn volunteer to take the little boat and make the attempt. They start, reach it, and come out barometers. The boys set up a shout, and I join them, pleased that they should be as glad as myself to save the instruments. When the boat lands on our side, I found that the only things saved from the wreck were the barometers, a package of thermometers, and a three-gallon keg of whiskey. The last is what the men were shouting about. Canyons of the Colorado, John Wesley Powell's Diary, Disaster Falls, Lodor Canyon, Moffat County, Colorado, in 1871, an E.O. Beeman photo. The Conflagration, Fire Envelops Powell's Camp. A whirlwind comes and scatters the fire among the dead willows and cedar spray, and soon there is a conflagration. The men rush for the boats, leaving all they cannot readily seize at the moment, and even then they have their clothing burned and hair singed, and Bradley has his ears scorched. The cook fills his arms with the mess kit and, jumping into a boat, stumbles and falls, and away go our cooking utensils on the river. Our plates are gone, our spoons are gone, our knives and forks are gone. When on the boats, the men are compelled to cut loose as the flames running out on the overhanging willows are scorching them. Loose on the stream, they must go down, for the water is too swift to make headway against it. Just below is a rapid filled with rocks. On the chute, no channel explored, no signal to guide them. Canyons of the Colorado, John Wesley Powell's Diary, June 10th, 1869. The Rescue, Bradley Saves Powell on a Cliff. Pictured, The Rescue, Canyons of the Colorado illustration, and Steamboat Rock in Echo Park, 1871, N.E.O. Beeman photo. I find I can get up no further and cannot step back, for I dare not let go with my hand and cannot reach foothold below without. I call to Bradley for help. He finds a way by which he can get to the top of the rocks over my head, but cannot reach me. Then he looks around for some stick or limb of tree, but finds none. Then he suggests that he would better help me with the barometer case, but I fear I cannot hold on to it. The moment is critical. Standing on my toes, my muscles begin to tremble. It is sixty or eighty feet to the foot of the precipice. If I lose my hold, I shall fall to the bottom and then perhaps roll over the bench and tumble still further down the cliff. At this instant, it occurs to Bradley to take off his drawers, which he does, and swings them down to me. I hug close to the rock, let go with my hand, seize the dangling legs, and with his assistance, am enabled to gain the top. Canyons of the Colorado, John Wesley Powell's Diary, June 18th, 1869. Powell's story did not end there. Check out our channel to continue the story and learn more about John Wesley Powell's connections to Sweetwater County, Wyoming. Please note, objects and images shown in this video may or may not be on display. Please contact us before you visit if you would like to see any of the objects or images displayed. Check out our channel for more videos on Don Wesley Powell, old exhibits, 
and much more. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out sweetwatermuseum.org and our social media for some great history and to stay up to date with the Sweetwater County Historical Museum.